Guys, the streets are saying it all makes sense now. Jay-Z has had Beyonce hooked on drugs for years, and all his dirty secrets are finally coming to light. Hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. I'm not sure if y'all have landed on that street on TikTok where an ex-bodyguard of Jay-Z and Beyonce's has been spilling all the tea. But it is messy down there. Well, a lot of the videos have already been taken down. And as for why, your guess is as good as mine. But don't worry, I was still able to capture most of it before it went down. The man who goes by the name Uncle Ron was a bodyguard for multiple celebrities. And while it's not clear whether he's telling the truth about his relationship with Beyonce or Jay-Z, I located images online which show a man resembling Uncle Ron appearing to serve as Beyonce's bodyguard. Uncle Ron has actually made a couple of allegations against Jay and B, including that they worked behind the scenes to destroy the career of fellow R&B artist Carrie Hilson after Carrie said something about Beyonce. He also said that Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship is merely a business relationship and not a romantic one. Then he dropped the bombshell that Jay has been drugging and controlling Beyonce for years. Okay, now if it was just Uncle Ron making the allegations that Beyonce has been on drugs, then maybe I would say that there's a great chance that he's not telling the truth. But the thing is, he's not the only one who said it. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. And just look at this video of B and tell me she doesn't look off to you. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Why did God give me my talent, my gift, my family? I know you're not supposed to question God. So I'm grateful for the life he's given me. I'm so grateful. I'm alive and I'm living a dream. So far, however, there's no solid evidence to suggest that B is on anything. But people have also been suggesting that the only way Beyonce is still in the marriage is because she's on drugs and that the marriage is fake. So let me break down a couple of those things that make their marriage questionable. For starters, in 2008, Beyonce revealed that she was 18 years old when she met Jay-Z, noting that they started dating a year later when she was 19. However, a lot of people believe that Jay-Z possibly started hitting on Beyonce much earlier, but she couldn't say that to the press, of course. Then there have been the endless cheating allegations that go all the way back to 2005. At the time, there were rumors that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with Rihanna, and in 2010, the streets started saying that Jay-Z had hooked up with an adult film star, Jasmine Cashmere. A few months later, Jasmine's friends were spreading the news of a pregnancy and saying that Jay-Z was the father. But Jasmine took to Twitter to deny the accusation, saying, no, I am not pregnant by Jay-Z or any rapper from New York. Jay also made a public statement as well, saying that he and Jasmine had never even crossed paths. But interestingly enough, a friend tipped off tabloids that Jay had paid Jasmine two and a half million dollars to disappear, and she coincidentally bought a new house around the same time. Of course, the cheating allegations were eventually confirmed by both Jay-Z and Beyonce, and to date, some people still don't understand how Beyonce stayed and and according to them, it's probably because she has no choice. 
And get this, a close family friend tipped off the press back in 2016 and said that Beyonce is a workaholic who pushes her kids off on a nanny when she wants to smoke some weed, which is often, and that Jay-Z is a raging alcoholic and that Beyonce is scared of him because he can physically harm her. And that also wasn't hard for a lot of people to believe because Jay actually has a history of not having his anger under control. For instance, for those who've never heard about it or weren't even born yet back in 1999 jay-z was hanging out in a club for q-tips release party when he had an argument with producer lance on rivera and things escalated pretty quickly and jay-z pulled out an eight inch knife and stabbed the man then his bodyguards proceeded to beat the producer with champagne bottles until the cops were called now at the time jay pleaded guilty and was bailed out at fifty thousand dollars and spent three years on probation so a According to some people, Jay-Z low-key still has anger issues and B is scared of that. And you can't tell me you don't see how the entire marriage just looks like a business transaction. Even Akon once said that Beyonce and Jay-Z have always presented their relationship to the public as more of a business than a real relationship. Adding that famous people need to be open with their fans about their relationships or else they invite the kind of speculation that have always surrounded Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beyonce. Their relationship has been more of a business to the outside world than an actual relationship. Now to them, it may be a relationship, but it was presented to the world and it feels more corporate. All I can say is that even if it's not about the drugs, a lot of people still think that Jay is certainly controlling Beyonce. Like this one person who wrote on Twitter, Jay-Z is a gatekeeper in the industry who has a lot of pull from different publications to streaming companies to judges to lawyers, etc. This man can stop Beyonce's career if she ever tried to divorce him. So let's not play dumb. Another person was just like, the way Beyonce went from being under one controlling man, her father, then immediately under another, Jay-Z, it explains a lot. Well, if there's one thing B and J also know how to control, it's the narrative. And apparently, they are already taking care of all the nasty things that have been making rounds as of late. Uncle Ron already claimed that Beyonce's team is going after him to get him to shut up and stop making outrageous claims against her and her family. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got what you are. Well, that would explain why some of the videos are already taken down. But do you know who else also said that Jay-Z and Beyonce would step on anybody and do whatever it takes to get their way? Jaguar right? I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't get if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. Several other people have also said over the years that Jay-Z would indeed take care of anyone who tries to get in his business. And as for Jaguar, who has also been doing a lot of spilling, there are now videos that have been making rounds after she started spilling tea on celebrities that make her look crazy. Like this one right here. Oh my son. Oh my we're, son. We're God. They're People. all no, they're, they're all so is somebody somewhere already taking care of business? Anyway, just to be fair with the whole situation, I'm going to consider that Beyonce is not on anything and that her marriage to Jay-Z is just fine. For all we know, this Uncle Ron guy could be a fraud, though I'm not sure what he stands to gain by exposing Beyonce for being on drugs. However, one person even said that it's the drugs part that made the whole expose questionable. They posted on Twitter, the moment he mentioned drugs was the moment I knew something wasn't right. Beyonce doesn't look like she's on drugs and she's never looked like she's on drugs. 
It's something that's just not making sense about what he's saying. But let me know what you think. Is it possible that Jay-Z has been controlling Beyonce and drugging her for years? Or is this just another attempt to tear down a successful, powerful black woman? Sound off in the comment section below. And can someone go check on Uncle Ron? You know, just in case whatever he is saying is the truth.